And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Monastery Fizz. Now, if, you, if you're into meme decks, this one is for you. This one is extra meme -y, but we have a deck that's built around Monastery of uh, Hirana. So this is new Ionia Landmark. It's going to be our first time playing this new Ionia Landmark. There is one in our Zoe deck later that we're going to try as well. Um, so this one creates every round start we create a sanctuary in hand which just which is just a, a one mana recall one of our allies it's burst speed but we can't play it during combat but you know we can just spend one mana to bounce one of our allies back to our hand and what we have here is a deck truly built around that now we have uh things there to build to uh, bounce back to our hand like coral creatures so we can keep on summoning uh one cost spells from different regions of course i the dragon wants us to play the two spells um like, you know, one of them being the uh, Sanctuary and then another spell to get some dragons. But, you know, we can put, like, higher Gun back into our hand, put it back into play to give something vulnerable. La we can keep resetting Lounging Lizard so it doesn't die. Um, monkey Idol, same thing. Keep resetting this so it doesn't die. And we can keep on getting more Powder Monkeys. Um, we can bounce our Concussive Palm back to our hand, the Tail of the Dragon, so we can reset Concussive Palm. We can uh, have Mystifying Magician turn one of the small things into a five cost follower, and we can keep on putting this back into our hand and keep transforming stuff into five cost followers, which is pretty awesome. You know, maybe we get like, you know, powder, maybe we turn like Powder Monkey into a five cost follower and then reset the Monkey Idol so it doesn't die. And uh, then the next turn, bounce the Magician and then turn the, the Powder Monkey back into a five cost follower and just do that, you know, every other turn. Um, <laughs> you know, like, so you can have infinite five cost followers every other turn, basically. Uh, we have Whimsy uh, for a little bit of protection. Let's see. So, so there's a couple spray fins in here. Which you'd think spray fins usually a good card to, to bounce, but it looks like our deck only has two retreat as far as targets for Zap Spray Fin. So we're probably not going to really bounce Zap Spray Fin too much. Um, also, because there's only the two retreats. And so that's kind of weird with our deck, how we only have two retreats. Um, we're not really playing that many spells, you know, for being a Fizz deck. Um, these, okay, oh, also, by the way, these are all viewer-submitted decks, by the way. The, the two Ds here mean donation decks. So we got uh, viewer-submitted donation decks. These are ones that I put together myself, but uh, this looks, yeah, this looks, looks pretty crazy. So that's that's our, our uh, kind of our uh, combos. We really need this Monastery of Hirana because we really need to make these sanctuaries, these one-mana spells, because a lot of cards in our deck care about spells like fizz but we're not really playing spells um so yeah we're definitely going to need that for eye the dragon for fizz stuff like that so basically we're not going to bounce zap spray fin very much because we only have the two retreats so that won't be really a target um but then we got homecoming another way to recall one of our um allies while also uh being some removal for their stuff and then our top end, we got Wiggly Burblefish. So reduce my cost by one for each spell you've cast this game. So again, we're going to hopefully cast a bunch of Sanctuaries, reduce this Wiggly Burblefish, and then I think we'll have to like try it out. But just from like kind of reading the card, it seems like that it should stay zero mana. Like like let's say we played six, spe six spells, so then the Burblefish would cost zero. I think that it would cost zero, and then like our, we'd be able to put it back into our hand with the Sanctuary and then be able to recast it for zero. I think. And of course, whenever you, you play, it gets another one cost spell. So that'll help, you know, help out with, with that, get some more spells like that. And then top end Riptide Rex, Mina Swift Foot, both two things with uh, great play abilities, very powerful cards. And we can rebalance these things and get those powerful abilities some more. So extra Mimi, I don't know how it'll do. We're going to try it out, but it'll be our first time trying Monastery of Hirana. We're definitely playing this one in normal. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can win some games. Or at least have some fun. Okay, cool. Nickname says it does not, you know, seen it, seen it happen, and it does stay zero mana. All right, perfect. Found at the Sanctuary. We got a couple coral creatures for our Heimer Zoe deck. Let's just, let's go ahead and keep this hand. Let's give it a try. What our deck's all about. Let's give it a try. Never loses because Zoe makes the 
So Whimsy only has followers. We we can't use this on a champion like Zoe. So pretty. Okay, we can give Zoe vulnerable. Maybe I should do that. Give Zoe vulnerable, attack in for one. Kill it. I was thinking about playing the other coral creatures. Sad face. Oh wait. I, for I completely forgot about the deal two to an ally. I completely forgot about that part of that card. Okay, I definitely need to play the other coral creatures. Then to do two to the ally. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that part of the card. Jailbreak. Surprising they're not doing anything with their mana. No, another landmark down. Two landmarks down. Okay, that worked. Yeah, I was saying that they may play that, that maybe I'd want to give that vulnerable also, but I don't really have good things to kill that anyway. There's another one. Okay, we got a recall. Just gonna go ahead and do this. Reduce the cost of that purple fish. So this is going to be four for Fizz. Still a couple away from leveling up Fizz. I don't know. What do they, what do they want to take? A recall, I guess? <laughs> you know, like what... Have oh, the best spells here. Do I have Fizz block Zoe? I think that's a question. I'll just go and play this thing. Ooh, ghost. That's kind of good. We can ghost one of these coral creatures. And block a Zoe. I want to save retreat for the Riptide Rex. Um, I assume that's going to challenge my wiggly burble fish. But maybe it's maybe it just challenges Fizz. Alright, Heimerdinger is pretty good. Why are you here? So I can play Whimsy and Ghost. Oh, come on, come on. And level up Fizz. Keep Fizz and thou keep Fizz alive. I guess I do that.
I'm just going to take this 3-1. Well, I do got to do plunder to them for the cannon barrage. What is this deck about? Oh man, <laughs> I don't have a good. Uh, it's I guess it's about monast the the Ionia monastery and trying to. Uh, Bounce your own units with the Ionia Monastery. I don't want to play this Fizz into Serpent. I think we'll just attack here and pass turn, I guess. I wish I had eight mana this turn for Rex, but I don't. Yeah, and our, our opponent already destroyed one of the landmarks, and we tossed another. Our coral creatures made a jailbreak. The jailbreak got the 1-1 one, one that tosses three uh, from Bilge Water. And so we tossed one. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this going well for us with leveled up Zoe giving all of the abilities to everything. So yeah, that gave them the quick attack one, so they all have quick attack now. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see this working out. Okay. That would give them all fearsome. I guess, do they already all have? No, they don't have all that fearsome. Again, Whimsy cannot hit champions. The only thing you really need it to hit, it cannot hit. I guess I'll just let them kill all my stuff. So they get, they're all elusive. They can all have Challenger. They should have played the, the Challenger first and then that, but because they're not going to play the Challenger afterwards. There we go. I can whimsy two of them. I don't have to take lethal this turn. They just replace Zoe. Poor Zoe. I hypothesize their demise. I guess, we need, I guess I need to keep one. Oh no, because I guess, no, never mind, never mind. Having one for Fizz doesn't matter. Because yeah, I can't, I can't deal damage to them anyway. So they're gonna have like a, a 
bunch of really big overwhelm things, which is probably not good against my army of one twos. All right, we'll keep Fizz and keep this hand. Concussive Palm is going to be really important. I like having turn one Fizz. Yep, yep, yep. Concussive Palm is going to be really important. And then, yeah, we'll have like some Powder Monkeys in here. Powder Monkeys can do some stuff. Maybe we can get like a cool rally with Powder Monkeys. I don't know. We'll just kind of see. The Winter's Claw strikes. What is gained when we return malevolence? I can trade Fizz for the 3 1. The Winter's Claw. That's probably worth it. I mean, I, I, I got the backup Fizz for a reason. Sorry, excuse me. It is time. This is a cool combo. Make a powder monkey. Turn the powder monkey into something big. Many tribes. One Freljord. I am the great Marmorio. Oh, did, no, it didn't work. It's not a sum. Yeah, you know, like we didn't summon the hearth guard, so we don't get the plus one plus one. So we need to we need to recall this hearth guard. Play the fizz. Yuck. They just put five for five mana, they just put twelve power of overwhelm. <laughs> twelve ten worth of overwhelm in two bodies for five mana. That doesn't seem very fair. Um, this is a good whimsy. Stand and defend. Could be a good whimsy. Hmm. Almost. Is it turn nine yet? Did do they did block like that? Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to what? die by. Listen and learn. Okay, hopefully we don't die this turn. Hopefully no dying this turn. Leave your bags in the door. That's fine. The spirit gives to those who listen. We're gonna have concussive palm on the ruthless raider. And then ready yourself. Those are my largest things to block. We haven't met yet. This is our homeland. That overwhelm. This would put me down to ten. So even one Battle Fury with them having seven mana. I guess they can't really cast Battle Fury.
Okay, not dead yet. Mina Swiftfoot time. Ah, Omen Hawk, that's a good blocker. I mean, I guess I bounced Sejuani, right? I mean, obviously we're going to bounce Yeti and Ruthless Raider. We bounce those two. And then do we bounce Sejuani or Omen Hawk? Maybe, I guess it's maybe just Omen Hawk. Because if I bounce Sejuani, they get to just replay Sejuani and Frostbite something. And I don't really want that to happen. I wish they didn't play the Omen Hawk and I could just, you know, clear the board. I would, you know, definitely do that. Um Our banner will lead the way. Just attack. Who goes there? Prove your worth. If it wasn't for that kindly tavern keeper, healing their nexus for three. He almost got him. We may need like ways to actually turn on plunder. Our deck doesn't have ways to turn on plunder. Ooh, I like whimsy. For the thrill of battle. Me, 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 me. Okay, it's done that. Where are you at? Three. I'll just do that right now and get this tail of the dragon to block. Born for conquest. I warned you. Your attack is obvious. I hope they don't have plus four. Okay, they don't. Okay. Wow, another Mina Swiftfoot? Another Mina Swiftfoot. Mm. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna Whimsy. You'll wanna give me some space. So we Whimsy to give them priority. And then a Swiftfoot bounce. GG's. Alright, we won. Good job, Swiftfoot. You cannot Whimsy Trends Trend Trendomir. Whimsy only targets units. That's why I Whimsied the Omen Hawk. You, or, so, tr sorry, only uh, Whimsy's followers. You transform a follower. You cannot target a champion. I can't. You can't Whimsy Trendomir. Basically. Trendomir is too. Too fearsome to be whimsied. All right, Fizz Victor. What do I want to do? I guess I'm gonna start with the same thing we did the last turn with the Powder Monkey, the last game with the Powder Monkey into Mystifying Magician. I am, I'm liking this Mystifying Magician in our deck. We can retreat it. Meet, meet, meet. Uh, let's go with. Who's on top of the bounty board let's give that vulnerable. Run and ready. You point, I shoot. Safety disengaged. Join me if you want to live. Me like the god I am now. System upgrade. Prime and ready. Which of these lounging, lounging lizards didn't kill themselves? No good shit. I pulled them from my head. What's up, Kato?
they want their own Kato in hand. Wait, why would you not play Fizz first and make Fizz elusive? Why are you just wasting a warning shot? I don't know. I'm not mad at it, though. Okay, now what are we doing? So, you know, we can have Whimsy on this Nandroid. So pretty. Ghost is cool. That is also cool. Okay, and a Fizz. So my plan here is to retreat the Magician on this turn so I get the return on this turn so I can return Lounging Lizard and put in a, a Lounging Lizard kind of by surprise. They can block an Android. Man, I'm doing that. The, the thing here, though, is I kind of want to whimsy. Like, I probably want to whimsy this turn, but I also want a Magician this turn. And I can't do both. I guess I'm not whimsying ing Because I want to transform this into a 5-drop. Well, that's a kind of a crappy 5-drop. But I guess that 5-2 does check their Kato. Never mind. Alright, surprise block. Wink. And surprise block. And I guess we trade Kato's. Yeah, we can trade Kato's. That was pretty sweet. Got some surprise blocks in there. And I guess these two, these two should just be. I, yeah, I should, I should have these two flipped, right? I take a little bit less damage. Take two less overwhelm damage. Did my opponent just give up? After my awesome plays? Oh, Riptide Rex! Why aren't you... Why isn't it turn 8? Yeah, we're gonna just open with the 4 damage. Get him down to 6. I, th I think they gave up. I think this counts as a win. This is a cool game. Even though my uh, opponent gave up here. I think we count that. That was awesome. The ocean wins again. All right, playing against Fearsome. Well, I guess this is Freljord, so maybe not Fearsome. Maybe uh, they who enter. Actually, um, I'm gonna Mulligan, Fizz, and Burble Fish. Because I don't really have the spells to support fit of like giving Fizz elusive. I think that this this card could be really important against um, against they who endure. We All right, we'll start with Eye of the Dragon. I, I, yeah, I have never seen Homecoming cast. So, yeah, I, I didn't know it, it had an animation, to be honest. If it, if it has one, I, I did not know about an animation. Success gets you noticed around here. Boys, we have Not my first 
Alright, we're gonna bounce the Eye of the Dragon and replay it. That'll be two spells for the Wiggly Burblefish. That'll get me a Draggling next turn, which I could use to challenge Callista, or I can also play the Burblefish and challenge Callista with the Burblefish. Why doesn't Burblefish at least like have like a tune? Ghost. What does he want from me? Just leave me alone. Feels like this thing should have a tune. Yes, if you try casting return and they get rid of your unit, then you will not get the recall. The second part of that that card. Okay, well, we killed Callista. That's pretty good. For We're honestly kind of unscathed so far. You know, still at 18. There's nothing mm, to maybe fear. not. All right, coral creatures, what do you got for me? Rush. There you are. Hush now. So I could homecoming basically to save four life. Or I get monkey idol in play. I'll go ahead and homecoming. Save the four life, rebuy coral creatures. Two mana four three. Another quick attack this round. All right, random one cost follower, what you got? Okay, one one. Um. Play. We attack with that. It's your hurry. See? This sure. is progress. Give it plus one plus zero on quick attack, but of course that was a created card, so it has the augment, so it gets another plus one. And now with us casting two spells, the jailbreak and that we'll get the draggling. Okay, let's see. Let's give you plus one plus zero quick attack. Nice. You block there, you block there. Trade with those. You block here. I take one damage. Down to eight. Puts me down to one. Everyone's got a secret. Okay, just down to one. Okay, that whimsy could be great against Behuander. Obviously, if they have more direct damage, I'm going to lose, but if they don't, you know, we have Riptide Rex into, like, Whimsy slash Swiftfoot. A 
As long as they don't have more direct damage, we're we're good. Obviously, that thing found Doom Beast. Must be nice. And we almost we almost got there. I don't I don't want to change anything about the deck because uh, you know like it's, it's from the viewer. You know, as a viewer submitted this specific list, so I don't want to change anything about it during the games. I want them to be able to watch their deck. You know, if, if people say that, you know, I can I can adjust some cards here and there, I'll do it, but without them letting me know first. Tom Kench, Soraka. Hmm. I wanted to find the monastery. Looks like we just can't find the monastery. It's a big responsibility. So Sprayfin will get retreat for us. Retreat has been very good. Especially being two spells for like these purple fishes. Pablo's been down! Let his knee out! Success gets you noticed around here. Time to make some coin. I guess I'll use this whimsy. Because we're, we're trading one Whimsy for their, their Sun Blessed Vigor and their 3 1, right? So, like, we're spending the same amount of mana as them. Four mana total, but we're trading two cards for one card. I'm not afraid! Just a wee bit late. Okay. Alright, we got a monastery. Hey, there we go. Thank you, Michael. Thanks Shut for giving us up to morning tea time. Home, All right, another sun blessed figure. Okay, let's see. So monkey idol is kind of rough against the three one challenger. Right, because they just can kill my monkey idol. I could go spray fin and go grab retreat return. Or lounging lizard hidden for three. I mean I guess it makes more sense just to play spray fin. And just go draw into retreat return. And Maximus! Get, getting us to our sub goal. Thank you, Maximus. There been tons of subs like the past few days. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. We've been hitting a lot of sub goals. I really appreciate that. Okay, they're gonna just let damage happen, so I'm definitely just gonna let damage happen. If they're willing to. All right, let's get these things in play now. Now listen here, Tom. There's been a misunderstanding. I really wish that we could cast this in in response to a spell. Right? Really wish we could. A face of ways. All right, Michael, take care. Oh, I don't require a menu. Another Marvolion miracle. Oh, we got. Ooh, Mitted Stoke Henchman. 
Okay, now we gotta get this Midden Stoke Henchman elusive somehow. I feel better when you feel better. Um All right, just resetting this. Appetizers of plenty. So, you know, want to try to bounce this Tom Kench. I'm gonna let it eat whatever this turn. Yeah, you definitely eat that thing. Come on in. Because <clears throat> I, I could go Riptide Rex. Yeah, with the Powder Monkey dying, we can Riptide Rex. So what's in store for me? I need time for commune, Tom. This you know. I don't know. Riptide Rex doesn't usually kill stuff, and it may just help them. Kind of want like basically, I wanted to, kind of wanted to Swift Foot first. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go Monkey Idol and Henchman this turn. So what's in store for me? Uh, I need time for commute, Tom. This you know. Oh, I guess I won't. I won't have room for the the lounging lizard to come back. Round him up. Okay, cool. Cause I I need something to die. <laughs> Magic attack you. Take eight. I can take eight. Okay, cool. We'll have the magician die. Now we'll have room. If only the swift foot could bounce landmarks. So now I have the one spot, so if like the Tom Kench gets bounced, I get I get my lounging lizard back with that one spot. No. Well, that's too bad. Don't you dare. That was the one card that stopped me. Cause this is this is a cool combo with Sanctuary into Mina Swiftfoot, but that was the one card that stopped me. Was Bastion. Okay, did not block the henchmen. We got another henchman in play. Everyone here, let's go. Up to it, Ely. Round up those stars. Don't tell me what. No problem, Rainy. Thanks for doing it. Up to it, Ely. Round up those stars. Don't tell me what to do. All right, so that was that was a really good use of their mana. Like they they got to play a, a bunch of stuff there that turn. That was pretty good for them. So now I need this Powder Monkey to die to enable Riptide Rex. And they only have two cards in hand, as far as protecting Tom Kench is concerned. So what's in store for me? I need time for commute, Tom. This you know. It's too late now. Can't stop that. I guess I need I need to balance my own one with my sanctuary. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to bounce that. Man, I just can't play anything. If I want chance to be able to play Riptide Rex this turn. I really like this wiggly burble fish because I get to play that. Also, give me another thing so like one hush doesn't shut me down. You had your chance or that. Now that costs zero. Parlay. All right, that turns on Riptide Rex. I was hoping, I was hoping for like the the ghost. That's what I was hoping for was ghost, and I could ghost a henchman. But parlay also works. Okay, that is two at Tom Kench. Wasn't the absolute best Riptide Rex, but we'll take it. Fish is pretty sweet at zero mana. So maybe underrating that card a little bit. It's it's actually pretty sweet. Okay, kill that thing. They're down to six. You know, now it's going to be how do we? This isn't this isn't necessarily bad for us. Yeah. This, oh no, that's bad. I'm gonna turn on like plunder again. Get play another Red Tide Rex. We shall leave our uh, that thing's bad. If they play anything before combat, I get to stun Soraka. Hopefully, they play something before just immediately attacking. Is that's too bad. It's a 412 now. 23? No. 23, I can't stop 23. Yeah, that's too bad. They found that Soraka just in time. That was that was a perfect Soraka. I don't know of like a one mana card that can get rid of a landmark. Put me in, Tommy boy. Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate Pablo. No, oh, Jettison's not going to be good enough either. All right, so we went two and three. Competitive la two losses. You know, like, this is a really good deck. This is a definitely a competitive game. Very close game. We can see Fizz animation. Before the game ends. So that's cool. Well, can't recall the last time I 
There we go. A warning shot costs zero. You can't make warning shot. You you always create things that cost one. So like we could we could create. Um, basically what, what we could have created there with the wig, wiggly burble fish, our best chance was creating, um, you know, creating another parlay, parlay their life total to put them to five, and then cannon barrage six times and maybe hit the three one, like all six of them being on the three one. <laughs> that was our best chance. All right, but there we go. Monastery Fizz actually got a couple of games for us. And I think the more importantly than that, I think just like finding some cards that that uh, look good and that worked well. I'll just say the cards that, that did that, that looked good. Of course, Hired Gun looked good in here. But like some of the cards you don't really play very often, the uh, Monkey Idol with Mystifying Magician looked really good. And then, you know, also like Bouncing Monkey Idol and everything. Um... Like, th those definitely look good, but that, that's, like, a, a cool combo that uh, didn't really use too much before. But then Wig Wiggly Burblefish. This card honestly did look pretty good. Being zero mana, um, creating a one-cost spell was pretty nice. Once you cast your six spells, um, you know, it's, it costs zero. And you can keep on bouncing it, replaying it for zero mana. That was honestly a good combo with the Burblefish and the Monastery. Um, yeah, that was that was actually pretty sweet. And I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if like build, you know, like that'll be something kind of interesting to look at of like, what are the other regions with the one cost spells of like, maybe there's another region combination you can pair that with. Um, of course, here with Bilgewater, you get the coral creatures where that kind of gives you another kind of thing. But that was actually pretty sweet. I was pretty impressed with that. You know, maybe we, like Riptide Rex, unfortunately, just wasn't good. Wasn't very good for us. Swiftfoot was awesome. We needed kind of more Swiftfoots. Uh, we need some more ways to get rid of landmarks. Um, you know, like there's definitely needs to be some cleaning up around the edges with the deck. But overall, it was it was pretty impressive, and um, yeah, I, I was I was very happily impressed with Purple Fish and and even the Ionia landmark. It also looked pretty good. I didn't really like the uh, overall. I wasn't really that impressed with the Lounging Lizard, just how it died really fast. We did get to do the cool thing re with Retreat w Return with it. Um, but I didn't really like that card too much. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's our deck. That's Monastery Fizz. Um, real interesting, real interesting cards here. Um, and everything there. Yeah, that's true. Freljord, Freljord would be a very good one mana region. Cause yeah, you're always getting Elixir of Iron and Brittle Steel. Those are, those are awesome. Um, yeah, those those give you some. Yeah, those two cards are are awesome. And let's see. So then, if you play Freljord, you know you'd want to have things with, um, you know, like whenever you play it or summon it. And so you could you could kind of pair that with like Omen Hawk, right? Like Omen Hawk is a great thing to bounce with with the Sanctuary and keep you can kind of keep on replaying Omen Hawk. You could replay Avaros and Hearthguard. That would be pretty cool. You could replay ba Babbling Bjerg. That would be pretty nice. Um, I don't know if you'd want to keep replaying Avaros and Trapper. It just really, really depend on like if you want Enraged Yeti on top of your deck all the time. But then the thing is, you're not like drawing into the rest of your deck, so you'd only have like five fives uh, forever. But definitely Omen Hawk, um, that would be a good one um, to be able to keep. You know, very cheap, very good to rebounce and play. And then you know, Hearthguard, Babbling Bjerg, those could be pretty cool too. Um, what else you have? You, oh, you have Ice Veil Archer or Avaros and Marksman. Both of these two cards and Kindly Tavern Keeper. Yes, yeah, so you could. Yeah, actually, all three of those cards. Those are all pretty good, and those all three work with Retreat Return. Um, kind of, I guess. Like they, you can put them into play off of Return, but you don't get the play abilities, so they they kind of work there. Um, but yeah, you can kind of keep keep doing stuff with those. So yeah, maybe there's something with Freljord with Monastery of Hirana. Definitely possible there. So there we go. That's that's another option. But this was this was really fun to play. This is what Meme Tier Monday is about. It's about uh, it's not necessarily about playing the best decks. This is not a best deck, obviously. Um, but it's about finding cool card interactions that we maybe didn't really realize were there and seeing what we can do with those um, and uh, you know exploring 
the parts of Legends of Runeterra that a lot of people don't explore and uh, finding those, uh, yeah, those neat card interactions and cards that are um, overlooked. So that's what we're doing today. That's it here for Monastery Fizz. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Give me those ideas for the Monastery of Hirana or, you know, got other stuff for the Wiggly Burblefish. Were you uh, pretty impressed with this card as well? Let me know over there on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.